you just don't want to lose it and doesn't matter uh, the price really it could be breaking bones it could be maybe losing life <laughs> Edric, I was wondering, what is the last mountain bike movie you watched? <laughs> wow, uh, if you ask me like this, I would probably say <laughs> none. What do you mean none? Well, lately I did, the last movie I think I've been watching is when uh, New World Disorder was in, like from um, Free Run Entertainment. Because that's the one I was related and for me that was the kind of, um, can I say porno? <laughs> porno of mountain biking. Like, mm. it was uh, rad. It made me want to ride badass. Oh, yep. right. Yeah, I think so. So if I say Unreal or Rad Company, it doesn't ring a bell? What is it? A uh, magazine name? <laughs> no? Uh, mountain bike movies. Cameron Zinc's documentary? Ah, I saw this. Oh, did you? Yes. Uh, Reach for the Sky? Yep. Yeah, I watched it. What did you think about it? I was really impressed. Like, you know, I know Cam and um, definitely I didn't know with all the thing he went through. It was, uh, I mean, crazy. I didn't know all of this. And uh, I remember the story when he was in a syndicate and it was the first time like a free rider and I mean, kind of soap style was doing racing and, uh, and that was really cool and I always liked his style. I always liked the way he behaved as well. Never pretend to be someone he's not. But always, you know, like he could party hard, but he was always doing his, his job. And I think that was really important. It means a lot to me, to people who can do all mm. and uh, be party hard with his friend. And uh, next day, uh, when he had to be at nine o'clock somewhere, he was there. And uh, yeah, and I started to hang out with him. I remember like district ride and uh, Saba Hinterklem when I was doing a little bit of Slopestyle <laughs> when he was the beginning, obviously. And it was super cool because he was a lot younger than me. And um, yeah, I was, uh, him and Kyle always been really good friend and it was, I think, awesome. They, they, they match or they, they, they help each other all the time. And you can see in those movies, you know, when they help digging for each other, it's really cool. And, uh, but I didn't know like, uh, how hard it was for him. Uh, uh, with all the sponsors dropping him, because we always know, like, I mean, it's only few sponsors and I'm really happy to be in that position. Then, I mean, we can choose and we work for the same goals and making, <laughs> uh, uh, making America, America great again, <laughs> making stuff all together for a company. Like, you know, you give, you give and you work with, uh, the people to make just a better product and I think he's that kind of guy and it was like kind of weird like all those sponsors uh, never respect what they offer him and uh, yeah he probably went through some tough time I guess because you know when you're buying a house and stuff all of a sudden you don't get uh, uh, the money or I mean everyone need money to leave and uh, especially when you've done your job I think this was probably the, because this is real life Mm. I mean, we're not talking about winning a race or something. This is real life. And uh, I was really surprised as well. I could manage to, um, I mean, having a kid. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's probably the biggest thing you can have in your life. I mean, we're not talking about winning races here. We're winning about, we're talking about. Winning so, so, life. Yeah, this is life, winning life. And this is the most important thing, I think, for everyone. And I think is how it should be. And... Uh, in that video, I could feel, um, I, I saw like a, 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 an athlete, but more a dad and how important it is for his, you know, to have his family around, Amanda and the little girl. And you can see uh, the way he look his family and uh, his kid, uh, the, the little daughter, I think it's amazing. And uh, I, I just discover him that way. I mean, I know him. I mean, we hang out a lot together, we party a lot and we sky and him, but I saw a bigger man and uh, that for me was the most important. That's why, I don't know, I think stuff happened for a reason sometimes. I watched some movie, this movie maybe for a reason and 
I think it's really cool. And I think the way they make the movie, it's... Uh, uh, I was watching and uh, I couldn't stop. Uh, I wanted to know what it's coming and what it's coming and that big jump he did. And I mean, it's... Uh, he, everyone knows he's ballsy. He, he go for it. And when I relate to him, like... Uh, after all those accidents, you know, it's only few people who can understand. It's not about the glory. It's not about the money, because if it was for the money, we'd probably do another sport. But it's to do something you love, and that's the thing, you know, like I've been in the same situation than him, then you're down, you're worth nothing. You are, I mean, it's done for you. Maybe you're not going to walk. I know this because it almost happened to me, almost dying. 10 minutes on the side of the road in Iranian Island and the thing was coming to your head. I mean, it's not like you don't care, you don't have respect for your life, but uh, you don't want to have to uh, take in away something you love. What you love is riding your bike, the adrenaline, the fun, because it's something you love and uh, you just don't want to lose it and doesn't matter uh, the price really it could be breaking bones it could be maybe losing life and but uh, at the end of the day when you are like I say less than nothing you in the hospital and you cannot move and you know you're in a critical point the only thing you you think you don't think about I am, the only thing you think is, I want to get back on the bike. And this is, I don't know if it's healthy, but uh, we all live for something and uh, this is our thing. And uh, yeah, I think it was pretty cool. It was, it was amazing because I, I didn't know him that way and uh, how much, I mean, I, I know he have love for what he do, but uh, and he's really good as well on the talking into the movie. He's like really honest. I mean, I have a pretty good radar detector for bullshit, and this is amazing because it's honestly for real. I love as well how the cameraman was on a different position. You know, a lot of backstage sometimes, right in right of his face sometimes. But when he comes serious, always step back and always uh, captured the moment and all these uh, mimics he have of like thinking you, you, you can see he's always thinking and he's not doing things like this it's calculated he know he can do it he's not convincing himself to do something he can't and uh, i mean he step up the game big time we can say thanks to <laughs> we can say thanks to him to put a mountain bike where it is today especially in slope style dirt jump and but uh, like a big riding as well, like a rampage and, um, but yeah, really cool, beautiful do documentary. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's amazing. I, I hope he keep doing what he's doing and push more young people, like he say about riding bikes at the end of the day, that's what he do. And I love the, the, uh, the pushing with his family, with his brother when he was young, man. It's, I think it's, ama it's, uh, it's amazing because we all live through stuff like this when you have a brother or no, it's always competitions. And, and uh, yeah, big ads up to this guy because uh, rad, you know, like a new generation, different generations than me, but uh, we, ha we all have the same goal as having fun on the bike. And uh, yeah, it's, I understand a lot, a lot more uh, when people talk uh, highly about, about him. It's uh, really rad. He's rad. <laughs> I'm not the kind of guy who always look for the last movie or something. It have to come to me because uh, I don't know, I'm that way. And uh, it always been that way with uh, free ride entertainment. And uh, I was really addicted on the movie. I was in or not. I was just waiting for what it's coming because I know it was always funny. And uh, you know, it's different today because different cameras, but we, we never knew what we had in the cam because it was uh, filming 16 or 35. <laughs> We didn't know what we had. We yeah. was going to the other side of the world, and <laughs> it was cool. But at the, at the same time, we always captured the moment, and and uh, and that's what I liked about those movies. Even in some stuff you couldn't relate on. A, I mean, a crazy drop or from a crazy rider. But at the end of the day, the average of the riding with the speed and um, you know sliding, it was um, it was connecting maybe more to. Um, to general public 
And uh, that's what I liked about this movie. They were always with a pitch of uh, radness. And that's, that's what I liked, the music, the, the whole thing, you know? Because I was really addicted. Every time I was listening to music, I was like, oh, this is music from uh, New World is Order number five, the section of uh, this guy, of uh, Robbie Borden. Or, and all of a sudden I have all those memories. That's why I loved it. And after this was done, I miss, I miss this. And, and I was not relating any music to any sections or whatever. And it was that new kind of riding of mountain biking where for me it was difficult to understand because I couldn't relate. Obviously, I'm not able to do double flick or double bar spin and whatever it is. I don't say that it. I mean, those guys are unbelievable. But I was not relating to this because I'm more relating to just riding hard and hitting berms and burning up rocks and just going down the hill, threading on the, in the natural mountain, then uh, it was difficult for me, but uh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, I'm ready for it. They just give me, give me new film, just give me infos, uh, I like it.